Hey guys, Bridget here, and in this video we're going to explore a new feature from Figma that we've all been waiting for, and that is interactive components inside of the prototypes. So as you can see, now we can create uh, some uh, variants and uh, leverage them inside of the prototype using this interactive components feature. So let's jump into Figma and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to create it from scratch. And just before we do so, I want to remind you that I recently launched a new Figma course so that you can learn Figma from scratch. And uh, this course is over five hours, so it's really extensive. And uh, essentially, it's going to enable you to become uh, from beginner to advanced Figma user in no time. Now let's uh, jump right into the video. So we're back in Figma and uh, we're going to duplicate this uh, Figma UI kit from Joey Banks, which uh, is uh, a product designer and uh, by the way this kit looks really really cool and it's going to help us uh, essentially learn this new feature of interactive components now what we're gonna do is uh, we're essentially going to uh, go ahead and uh, go over here under kit components and uh, we're going to select uh, uh, this one right here just going to bring it down and uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, this element and I'm going to essentially uh, grab this uh, window title right here, which as you can see is interactive. And uh, let's also get rid of this one right here. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to select uh, all of this uh, and uh, I just double check that everything is under the frame. And now let's start creating the actual components for this demo. So I can show you this new Figma feature, which we've all been waiting for for such a long time. And uh, I'm just so glad that it's finally um, a thing in Figma now. So we're going to create uh, uh, this component right here. And uh, this is essentially a circle and just to make it easier for us to work uh, around in uh, Figma in uh, this layer. We're going to basically lock uh, all of this and we're just going to have the ability to change uh, this uh, component. So let's make it a little bit uh, lighter like this and uh, let's add some text. So this is going to be list item one and uh, let's, uh, let's increase the size just a little bit so this is going to be the unchecked version and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to group this together we're going to create uh, the the checked version so let's uh, go ahead and maybe let's use uh, uh, one of these colors maybe a, a light uh, uh, green we're going to leverage uh, Nucleo in order to get uh, a checkbox icon. So let's go over here and let's go back uh, and use Nucleo icons. Going to write in check. By the way, this is a free um, software tool which you can download uh, at uh, uh, nucleoicons.com, I believe it is the website, but don't quote me on that. Um, just Google Nucleo icons and you're going to find it right away. Okay, so we have our checkbox. And uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're essentially going to bring this icon uh, inside. And then we're going to select both uh, of these uh, groups. Uh, now make sure that they are in groups, otherwise this uh, won't work. And we're going to create uh, multiple components. Now, as you can see, we have component one, which is the unchecked version. And then we have component two, which is the checked. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select both of them and we're going to use uh, combine as variants. Now, as you can see, we have now uh, the dotted lines, which uh, indicates that these two are variants. We're going to bring them right here. And uh, now I'm going to essentially, well, I can drag and drop uh, one of these components uh, uh, over here. 
and uh, or I can simply go under components and, and find it essentially. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is the real magic of interactive components. So we're going to go under prototype, nope, and uh, we're going to essentially bring, uh, uh, say that one, whenever you use uh, this one on, on click, uh, it's going to change. And the same is going to be true for this one. So basically it's going to uh, invert. So this is the new feature essentially, uh, change to. And uh, the moment you say change to, you can select the uh, check to run check property. And uh, this is what is going to create this uh, new effect, which uh, if we select the frame and we click on present, we should be able to see in just a moment as Figma, uh, makes uh, and works uh, its magic now again super excited about this as you can see boom i immediately uh, can change the uh, checked or unchecked version now as you can see here there's an issue because the moment i do this uh, um, it's uh, essentially changing also the text so in order to solve this what we are going to do is to just say that the check mark is checked or unchecked so the way that uh, you do this uh, is essentially bringing the <laughs> list item um, essentially out of the components. So we're only going to have uh, these elements and uh, let's go under the design. Let's make it smaller like this. Same for this one here. And essentially we're going to add the text manually or you could just have the word uh, list item and then uh, uh, basically all of uh, the other ones. So there's there's a few ways around it, but this might be just easier one. So we're going to go with two, three, four, five, six. And as we upload again, you can see how we can easily do a uh, very easy uh, interactive component uh, update. So this is pretty much it when it comes to the new update. Super happy about it, super thrilled to learn more. And I want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, I have over 500 videos, a lot of them are regarding Figma. So feel free to check them out if you want to learn Figma and bring your designs to the next level.